I am Alex from Table Tennis 11, and today I have a very special guest. Uh, the person who was one of the founders of our company and our general manager, Sergei Petrov. Hello, Sergei. Hello. Thank you for coming. It's a question who came, you or me? How are you doing? I'm doing very well, so it's very fine day to day. And uh, what about the nearest future? What are your plans? I plan to go to Harmstad for the World Championships. What a surprise! I also <laughs> <laughs> plan to go with you, so <laughs> very interesting. What a coincidence. After we come back from Harmstad, we can uh, sit again in this cozy place and cozy atmosphere and continue our conversation. Uh, I think that uh, we can ask our followers, our listeners to send their questions to you. I think that it might be interesting for people to know about Table Tennis 11 and about you in person. What if I suggest that uh, after we select most interesting questions. We will select one most interesting and give uh, something in return to this person. Yeah, I think it would be nice. I think I would even choose two, so it would be give. It would be have more chances to win. Okay, but yeah. let's uh, see how many questions we will <laughs> receive. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. Yes. <laughs> And maybe we will have three very interesting questions. Yes. We will decide later. Yeah. <laughs> very well. So, uh, as I have already mentioned, you were the, one of the founders of the company. Uh, can you tell me a bit of the history? In the beginning, it was just uh, an interest to start something in Estonia, uh, because I like this country and I think it offers a lot of opportunities. And uh, in the beginning, uh, we were selling mainly double happiness items in Europe and in Estonia. And then the idea came to start a worldwide sale through internet shop. It took a lot of time to start uh, the shop because it was for first programming, design and different kind of things to be able to uh, start delivering to our customers. And I think the first order came here 2000, uh, I even don't remember exactly. From my, from my point of view it was 2014, we need to check later probably. And then, uh, yeah, it, it was growing slowly, but anyway, so it was a uh, considerable amount of order, uh, orders increase every year. It's interesting, today I uh, look through the feedbacks. One of our clients said that uh, he was a bit surprised ordering from Estonia because Estonia was um, associated with, uh, in his uh, head with the uh, former Soviet Union. But then he just started to learn a bit more and uh, he found out that Estonia is one of the most European advanced company, uh, countries in terms of uh, internet, in terms of technologies and so on. So, uh, if there was, if not Estonia, can you imagine that uh, you have uh, started somewhere else? It's difficult to imagine because uh, I'm Estonian citizen by passport <laughs> and I like living in Estonia. So and I like also people. I think the uh, biggest part of our success is uh, the personnel because we have very devoted people who like their work and uh, we have now a team around 20 people and I'm very happy with them. So and I can't imagine my life in different place. Interesting. So. Tell me then, uh, why table tennis? Yeah, table tennis is my life, uh, from my childhood. My father loved table tennis a lot, so he brought me to table tennis hall when I was six. 
and then whole my life was connected with table tennis. I don't know, this is like the destiny and uh, I was never away from table tennis. Uh, I graduated also the university in table tennis, a, sta a table tennis coach. You played from your early childhood, so you were six when you first yes. the ball. Took, took the racket in yeah. your hand. Uh, how good you are in table tennis? Of course I know how good you are, but uh, no, it's very let's talk public. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very difficult question because uh, I'm, I'm getting colder also <laughs> and my skills are diminishing. I'm not that fast as before, but during my childhood I was practicing in Soviet national team with uh, Samsonov and uh, Dmitry Mazonov. So I think it was uh, quite a good level by that time. So you were a member of national team? Yes, youth national team, not, not uh, for, the, for the adults. At what age? Uh, I, I was 16, 17 by that time. Seven, six, 16, 17 years old. Yes. Years young. Yeah. Not old. <laughs> and how old are you now? I'm now almost 48. <laughs> almost 48. <laughs> yeah, so it's several days left. But later I had a big chance also due to Estonia to play in Estonian national team and be a coach of a national, Estonian national team. So I visited a lot of international events like World Championships and European Championships. As a player? As a player and later as a coach. And I was a playing coach actually in the end. What about your career before uh, table tennis 11? After I graduated from the university, I almost immediately moved to Estonia. And then my career was I was playing in a Finnish club uh, and I was earning money with table tennis. It was two years I was doing this. And also I was working as a coach in Narva Estonian club. During one year, uh, I think it was uh, year 2000, I was working as uh, export director in table tennis uh, factory. N now it is the name Narva Table Tennis Factory, NTT. And uh, later I was working sometime in in Germany at the ESM factory as a product manager. Uh, ESM factory, one of the biggest producers of table tennis rubbers. Yeah, probably Competition the biggest today. Table tennis yes, rubbers. Yes. And later in Sweden, you worked as a coach also. Yes, I worked in an international uh, table tennis uh, center in Shopping. It was almost two years. I worked there with international students. So there, there were two groups, uh, one was uh, Swedish students who were studying in Swedish school and then it was international students who, who, were, who were practicing table tennis and learning Swedish and other subjects like mathematics and history. So you have been working in Germany, in Estonia and in Sweden? And in Sweden. How many languages do you speak? I speak some languages. I speak... Uh... Let's say Russian, Estonian, German, English. English. Swedish. Swedish. So it is five. Five altogether. Okay. But why you have you stopped playing? It was... Uh, or you are, you are still active in table tennis? I'm still active. I'm playing for Estonian table tennis club in the name Marble. And uh, I'm participating also in uh, Estonian championships. How successful it was last time? So this year I took the bronze medal, which is quite a big success, success for my age, from my point of view. And uh, also, I, to, I plan to take part in uh, World Veteran Championships in Las Vegas. Is it important for you to be the best? I think for me, it, it is important for me to, to feel comfortable at the table. I mean, is, is it hard for you to lose? It is hard for me to lose, yeah, for sure. I think it's always hard to accept the, the loss. So from my point of view, it is important to try to win. So what are your plans for Las Vegas? <laughs> I, now they have different uh, categories. So before it was uh, 40 to 50. This year is between 45 to 50. So I think I have a very good chance. But though I don't participate much in veteran championships, so I don't have a good overview uh, about my partners. And uh, yeah, but, but I think I may hope to get a medal. <laughs> Together, in singles. In singles. In men's singles. In men's singles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's enough for today. Yeah.
let's say goodbye to our followers and thank you for answering. Goodbye. So see you soon. Hey everyone, George here. We at Table Tennis 11 hope you enjoyed this introductory interview with our CEO, Sergei Petrov. To ask Sergei a question, you can either ask it here in the comments below this video, or you can email your questions to info at tabletennis11.com with the subject, Question for Sergei. As stated in the video, our favorite questions will win a surprise. TableTennis11.com Crazy about table tennis.